Hello everybody. Today we're going to be doing a outer hip flow, outer hip stretch. So if this area for you feels a little bit tight, we're going to be working on that today. Let's get started in all fours. So you can come onto your hands and knees, tabletop position. Okay, from here, we're going to take the left knee out towards the left. And you're going to try not to shift your body weight towards the right side, but to lift the left knee a little bit higher towards the ceiling while keeping the right hip and the right knee in the same line. Good, bring it back in, knees to touch. And again, knee comes out towards the left. Keep the right side stable, only the left side lifts. And close, three more. Breathing deeply, arms stay straight. Last two. Good, last one. You should feel that left outer hip start to activate. Hold it here, core stays tight. Good, bring it back in and release. Two rounds of cat-cow, inhale to arch. And exhale to round. One more, inhale to arch. Chest comes forward. And exhale to round. Okay, you find a flat back, switching sides. Right knee comes out towards the right. Your left side stays stable. See how much you can draw the right knee up towards the, out towards the left. Good, and bring it back in. Two. Good, stabilize. Three. Next stays neutral. You should start to feel the right outer hip start to fire up. Four. One more last one. Five and hold here. Left hip and left knee in the same line. Good, bring the right knee back in. And rest, tabletop, two rounds of cat-cow, inhale to arch. And exhale round. Inhale, arch. Exhale round and release. Find a neutral spine and then have a seat in a cross leg position. Interlace the fingers, push the palms forward, full stretch. Take the arms over your head. Inhale, tall. Exhale, hinge forward. Hands to the floor, crawl forward. So allow the spine to be long, upper body to be flat. As you reach forward, can you pull your sit bones back? Slowly come back up. Switch the cross of your legs. Interlace the other finger on top, stretch forward, and then take the arms over your head. Inhale, tall. Exhale, hinge forward, hands to the floor, crawl forward. So long stretch here. Sit bones pushing back and they anchor into the floor. Fingertips walk forward, spine stays lengthened. Slowly come back to center. Good, roll onto your knees, coming up into, a, into all fours. Okay, from here, take your left knee behind the right knee. So the knees are stacked and crossed. Now separate the shins and then slowly lean the body weight back, have a seat on the mat. So both sit bones are touching the mat. If one sit bone is lifting up, I encourage you to take a blanket, a towel or a block and put it under the hip that is lifting. Make sure your knees are stacked as much as you can. Take the arms over your head. Inhale, full stretch. Exhale, hands to the floor. Hinge forward, walk forward. So for this one, you don't need to go too far. This one should be a deeper stretch on the outer hip. Allow the back to round. Let the neck, let the head be heavy. Slowly come back to center, roll forward onto your knees, and then switch, right knee behind the left. Separate the shin bones, and then have a seat on the mat. So both sit bones on the floor, if not add your props. Adjust accordingly, and then take the arms over your head. 
Inhale, full stretch. Exhale, hinge forward, hands to the floor, crawl forward. So as you reach forward, think of sending the sit bones back. Side waist stays long. Mobilizing, opening the outer hips. Come back to center, roll forward onto your knees. Come into all fours. Okay, from here, hands, come one hand distance forward. Tuck the toes, push back, downward dog. Three rounds of breath in your downward dog. You can walk up the legs if you need to. Take the right knee to the right wrist and have the shin parallel to the floor for pigeon pose. Left leg stays straight and sink the hips towards the floor. Untuck the left toes and you can either stay upright or you can lower your forearms to the mat. Allow the upper body to rest. For this one, you should be feeling the stretch in the right outer hip. Breathing deeply, exhaling fully. Hands to the floor, slowly push back up, downward dog. Switching sides, left knee towards the left wrist, shin parallel to the floor, right leg walks back, and then you sink the hips down to the floor. Stay upright or lower down. If this ever gets too much for the outer hip, you can bring the toe closer towards your hip flexor. So a uh, parallel shin means you get a deeper stretch. The more, there's a, the more angle you have on the shin, the less stretch you will get. Hands back to the mat, gently push back, downward dog. Come forward plank, lower your knees, and then lie flat on your back. So lying all the way down, supine position, allow the whole body to release. Bend the knees, hug the knees into your chest. Take the right ankle over your left knee, figure four stretch, thread the arms through, hug the left shin in towards your chest. As you use your hands to pull the left knee in, can you push the right knee away from you? Slowly release and switch. Left ankle over right knee, thread the arms through, pull it in. So the good thing with these postures is that you can choose the intensity. With the arm strength, you pick how much of a stretch you want how much of a how much less you want so it's always okay to back off you don't always have to go to your max every single time slowly release both knees into your chest and then roll back all the way up to sit cross leg position take the arms over your head inhale and exhale, release, inhale, exhale, release, one more, inhale, full stretch, and exhale, release. That is it for today. Thank you for joining me on the mat.